Hello everyone and welcome back to Dual Destinies. We are doing the DLC right now, which is Turnabout Reclaimed. I have just met Sasha and Orla and I am very excited because I already like them both. Now, we've already talked to Sasha pretty much about everything. So I think the only thing left to do now is to look around and examine every single thing possible. That's right. So uh, let's take a look at what we can find. Man, there's a lot of stuff. Like there's an awful lot. So let's just go to it. Start from the center and work my way around, I guess. It's too far away to get a good look. I'd better get a little closer first. Oh, oh shit, well before anything. Hello, friend. Is that show makeup above Orla's eye? Do you have makeup on? <laughs> That's right, it's like a starfish. It like, kind of makes her look like a punk rock and pirate, don't you think? So people like suggested to me that I give her kind of like a half Ibuki, half Miu voice. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. There might be a few likes thrown in there because of that. If so, if that pisses you off, I'm very sorry. We're, we'll just, we'll get through it. A punk rock pirate killer whale? Oh, it's official. Society's on the road to ruin. Listen, that's a phoenix. That's not the worst thing we've seen. Well, I think Orla is one hot rockfish. Speaking of rocking, how do you get Orla to do what you want during the show? Like I give her the signal with this whistle. I can't hear it. Oh, maybe she can hear it though. Oh, hello. How cute. She needs a bigger tank though. I don't like how small it is. Makes me say it. Oh, I, I didn't hear anything just now. Like the sounds out of the range of human hearing, just like a dog whistle. Orcas have better hearing than people do. They can even hear the whistle underwater. Wow. That's so cool. I wish I could give commands to Orla. Like anybody can do it. All they'd have to do is learn the signal. That's probably a clue. Here, Athena, you can have one of our whistles. Consider it a present. Whistle added, a whistle. A whistle for issuing instructions to Orla. Anyone can use one to command her as long as they know the right signal. Oh, wow. Athena, you got a present. Wow, thanks. Good for you. As for like, the actual commands, I'm afraid I can't teach them to you. They're top secret. I figured as much because that would be probably bad, right? But that doesn't mean that someone else doesn't know them. That's for sure. Can I examine anything over here? Or is it going to say the same thing? It's too far away. Okay. While we're here, what else can we look at? How about this? this giant sonic ring. There's a piece of meat and a plastic hoop suspended from a ceiling. Talk about a clashy decor. I think that's for her. Well, I guess Orla really likes meat. Who knew they fed her such large chunks though? <laughs> oh, are, we're, we're not looting the whale, are we? God, I hope not. Listen, my channel has enough problems. Can we just, can we not do that today? Uh, all orcas are carnivores. You knew that, right? Well, of course, silly. And I love meat too. Protein is your body's basic building block after all. Oh, <laughs> rip, rip my inbox. Oh no. Well, it was bound to happen. <laughs> but that meat is made out of rubber. I doubt Orla could really eat it even if she wanted to. You mean to tell me she jumps all the way up there and doesn't get a reward? The poor girl, after all that effort. I don't think Orla is as dumb as you think she is. No, she's probably really smart, right? All right, uh, well, let's see if we can't, here we go. All right, now what can we look at over here? It's hard to tell what's like visible and what's not. It doesn't look like the ladder goes all the way down to the bottom of the pool. Okay, but there's usually water in the pool, so it doesn't need to. So apparently the pool spans two whole floors. Ordinarily, visitors only get to see what they can from the first floor. But they said on TV that they sometimes give behind the scenes tours. Sounds like that swashbuckler spectacular show you recorded is really coming in handy. Yeah, I know. How about the little ball? Or is that gonna be like her again? Little volleyball? Oh look, there's a ball in the water. Is that another prop for the show? I don't know. That's one of our list toys. She plays volleyball with it. It's um, usually in the bin. I guess I must've forgotten to put it away yesterday. That's all right, she got a little ball with her. Wow, I wish I could play volleyball with Orla. <laughs> yeah, I have as much fighting you as a mean old lobster. I like it. There like aren't many people who want to be on the receiving end of Orla's fastball. I beg your pardon. No, nope. I said no. 
We're not doing it. It's not happening today. Or any day. We're not. I refuse. Yeah, like, yeah, she likes to be naughty and slam the ball into things around the pool. Who doesn't? What? what You should hear the sound that ball makes when it crashes into stuff. That's got to be a clue. Uh, well, maybe some other time. She suddenly went from fighting lobster to reluctant hermit crab. Me. Oh my... <gasps> I am changing my Twitter name to Reluctant Hermit Crab, everyone. I'm just telling you right now. Look, there's the big Schmeet. Look at it, oh my God, it's huge. Like a Fred Flintstone thing. There's a piece of me in a plastic hoop suspended from the ceiling. Oh, it's the same thing. Oops, sorry, I just wanted to look at it. Wow. All right, Uh, what else can we get from here? What about like these hats? No? We wear silly hats. How about this? What's this? It doesn't look like- oh, it's- oh shoot, I was trying to get the thing behind it, but I probably shouldn't do that. I should probably just wait till things are like right in front of me, because like otherwise... It's probably no good. Oh, look at- oh my god, look at that! What is that? Hey, there's a cannon in the shape of a shark! Well, I'd love to try firing that thing! Boom! Are these cannonballs supposed to look like fish eggs or something? Yeah, they kind of do. Or the dragon balls. Huh? But why fish eggs? Ooh, why not baby shark? Do, 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 do. No, Athena, don't. Think about how crazy it would be to have sharks go flying through the air. What if they, what if they had laser beams attached to their frickin' foreheads, though? Watch the thrilling life or death struggle as the little tykes fight to stay alive out of water. I can see it now. The drama, the mayhem, the whirlwind of teeth. A tornado of sharks? Not even Hollywood could conjure up something up. <laughs> is this a Sharknado reference? <laughs> what is happening right now? I'm all for it, by the way. The Sharknado reference. I'm here. I'm here to receive. A setting sun. Sunsets always remind me of how quickly the day goes by. Oh, boss. It's just a painted backdrop, you know? Down, Athena. Of course I know. I guess they use it for the swashbuckler spectacular. It looks handmade. Ooh, I just got an idea. Why don't we make our own not guilty backdrop? And present it to the judge when things aren't going our way? No, we put psychological pressure on the judge by hanging it behind the defendant. I almost want to see how the judge would respond to that. Listen, everybody walks all over that dude. He's not going to give a shit, right? He would probably allow it, I bet. Why not? What's this up here? Can I click on whatever this is? Hey, look, there's an apparatus here to hang from. I don't think it's for people to hang from. It looks more like a crane to move things with. Oh, I see it now. Okay, I didn't see it before. I couldn't understand what it was. I almost thought it was like buoys hanging up. Is it just me? But my eyesight isn't the best. But Sasha was hanging from it during the Swashbuckler Spectacular. I bet there are all kinds of ways to use it, not just to move things. Come on, boss, try thinking outside the box. Is she trying to say that I have narrow-minded view of things? Uh... No, no one's ever said that as far as you know, Phoenix. <laughs> okay, what's this? What a mess! Was all this stuff knocked over when the victim struggled with his killer? It's possible, but it would be hard to prove. Let's take a closer look, shall we? Here we go, okay. Because here's the outline right here as well. So we definitely want to look at all this. Uh, so this is where the body was found, huh? If they suspect Orla, maybe they found some evidence of an attack on, on the victim. Did they? Orla, like, didn't attack the captain. She loved him. Like, the captain rescued Orla when she was little after she got beached on the shore. He tried to release her into the ocean, but she kept coming back. Oh, I, okay, then I guess I understand. I can tell Orla's sad about losing the captain. She's just not her usual chip herself. Orla must really love this aquarium and the captain. Like, yeah, she's the only one around here big and strong enough to play with the big, tough captain. Every day, she made, like, a point of headbutting him and stealing his hat. Ah, oh, I guess you weren't kidding when you said the captain was a really strong guy. Not strong enough, though, apparently, hey. All right, what's this? These swords. Are they plastic? Look at all this stuff scattered everywhere. Yeah, I see. I see some swords. I wonder if they have anything to do with the case. They're made of rubber. I doubt they could be used as a weapon. But I still bet if someone got whapped with one, it would sting quite a bit. 
Oh yeah, especially if you had like water on your skin. Ew. Yeah, that would hurt. Yeah, I guess it would. But I think I could stand the pain. Yeah? Good for you. Redheads, man. Us redheads, we got a high pain tolerance. It's a thing. Look it up. Oh, look. There's a blow-up dolphin and an anchor, too. Mr. Wright, are you even listening to me? Stop looking at those toys. Well, I, Phoenix wants anchor arms. Listen. It's a lifelong dream. Oh, I guess I've been caught red-faced. It's red-handed, but I guess you didn't pick anything up. Can we look at those things? No, it says that we've already looked at it all. I guess it all counts as one big conglomerate of, like, stuff, I'm assuming. There's a fucking octopus over there that I'd really, really like to look at, and I don't know how, because it's just, like, behind everything. So how do I do that? Hmm. What haven't... I mean, we've examined pretty much everything here, because I can see the check mark over everything. I'm just going one more time to... Oh! Yeah, no, no, no. Check mark, check mark, check mark. Just waiting for it to disappear, but I think. Huh, all right. Um, let's keep, let's keep schmoving. Did we look at everything? That I'm not sure about. What's this thing here? This, uh, this little panel, did we not look at that? Thought that we did, oops. Looks like the control panel for that crane apparatus. There sure are a lot of buttons. When I see this many buttons, I start to get fidgety. I know what you mean. You start itching to push them, right? Nah, I start itching to make a psychological study of people who want to push buttons. Uh, need I remind you that I'm your boss, not your guinea pig? Listen, there's al there's always a chance, Phoenix, no? Phoenix? Okay, fine. Uh, yeah, let me just go through and make sure that we're good. That, that, oh wait, can we look at her from this side? Because there's no check mark on her here. Let's try it. Oh, it's not gonna notice me from here. I better move around to the front. Oh, never mind. Well, we did it all the same. Uh, the door? The doors are slightly open and there are police officers standing guard outside. I guess they're watching to make sure we don't try any funny business. Well, now that you've said it, I suddenly feel the urge to do something. <laughs> oh God. Like what? How about if I suddenly break out some squat exercises? That would be pretty funny. Uh, yeah, that might cause a few raised eyebrows in ways you didn't want, Athena. Yeah, seriously, can we not? The hats, though. Can I really not look at those? It's odd, isn't it? Feels like I should be able to, but yeah, no. All right, so let's just keep moving. All right, what have I missed around here? We looked at the ring. Um, we looked at the shark. Her and the ball. The door. That. What else? Well, to me, it looks like we've almost done everything. Am I missing something here? One more time. Wait, could I have just looked at him from here? Oh, I d everything else we clicked on in the background was like, I gotta get closer. So I thought that was gonna, man, I missed my huge octopus, dude. Wow, look at that huge octopus. That must be a show prop too. One of its legs is missing though. Wouldn't it be exciting to take on a huge enemy like that? Ma'am, in what context are you talking about? I'd like to give it a try myself. Uh, as a lawyer, that is. Oh, I've seen a hentai just like that. Wait, no, I haven't. Stop. Uh, don't, don't worry about what I just said. You know you have an insufficient number of limbs to out-object it, right? Listen, I'll object what I want to. Oh, that was the last thing. <laughs> How serendipitous that it was hentai. I guess that's about it. Under different circumstances, I would have loved to see the swashbuckler spectacular. Like, the three of us always perform the show together. Me, Orla, and the captain. Today's show has been cancelled, but we could put on a little performance for you now. Wait, really? Is that okay? Orla's still sad and everything. I don't want to make her work. Oh, shit. Hey! Hey, burp, 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 burp. Look at them! We be captain of the swashbucklers, me buckos. We love to sail the seven seas. We've come to rout that mangy black our dread pirate Nostash. A vast there he be Nostash himself, prepare to feed the fish. Uh, am I playing the role of Nostash? Well, Sasha has a stash and you don't, so I guess. Hit him with your water cannon, Captain, and spare no quarter. Oh, he's gonna get the spray. Oh, Jesus. Here it comes. <laughs> Sploosh. 
pull up. Oh yeah, dude. Oh! Well, rip. Hey. Away! Are you singing there, darling? Oh, that's so cute. I love it. <laughs> we swim through the storms and wave all because you are a grand treasure and adventures waiting just for me. I'm not singing it, guys, all right? But I know that that was the song. Wow, that was awesome. Your performance packed quite a wallop. Yeah, I for one feel like I took quite a beating. <laughs> All right, I'll see that on Twitter tomorrow. Oh, like, sorry about that. I can't have a show without a bad guy role, right? But a singing orca, huh? It must have been tough to train her to do that. That's Orla's best trick. Like, she can only sing one song, though. Well, she's still got one up on a pianist who can't play even one song. Oh no, Phoenix. That's true though. Well, now that we've had a taste of the show, we better do some more investigating. How? Where? Wasn't this the only thing we had? Good idea. Let's go to the aqua tunnel. Oh, okay. I guess maybe we'll look around everywhere. Well, time to be hitting the old dusty trail. I like your hat. Is there anything in here, though, really? There might, I guess there might be. All right, what do we got? I mean, this is beautiful. Hello, how you doing, friend? So, you're all done investigating the pool already? Wait, Mr. Phoenix Wright, why are you all wet? We had a good look around, but now we're moving on to other areas. How's the police investigation going? Did you, say, for example, find any other suspects besides Orla? Ha 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 Wouldn't that be fortunate for you if we did, but no, I'm afraid not. And even more unfortunate for you, I'm afraid we found decisive evidence of the Orca's guilt. What? How, uh, how convenient. Where did you find that at? Who gave it to you? I'm gonna punch him. Tell us more, detective. Do you think you will? But before, even though I've done it in the last case, it was not as Phoenix, so I don't give a shit. Look at this badge. So that's your symbol of justice, is it? Well, this is mine! Oh, it's kind of the same, isn't it? Wow, he can whip that badge out pretty fast. <laughs> uh-huh. That's what people say about him, I've heard. We can top that. Take this! Twin attorney's badges! Ugh! No fair! Two against one! No fair! Your police badge is bigger and flashier! What?! You dare to call me unfair me, the very model of justice itself! This is so silly! Boss, I'd say we won this round. Athena, in this battle, there are no winners. What do you, oh, no, he's... <laughs> no, he's sad now. Oh, shit. I'm sorry, sir. Why don't you make yourself happy by ruining my day and tell me why the whale did it? Oh, no, I'm sorry, dude. So what's this decisive evidence? Don't hold out on us now, Detective Fulbright. I'm very sorry, but I can't share classified information with the defense. Especially not security footage that shows the moment the orca attacked the victim. Oh, well, isn't that wonderful? Yup, I'm to personally see that this baby stays safe. It'll never leave my side. Uh, but you just told me. The whole thing. Excuse me, but there's a call for you, detective. I'll be right there. Sorry, guys. You know how it is. Oh, jeez. Well, he never said that he wouldn't leave its side, I guess. Now, let's sneak a peek. He just left it there? He didn't take it with him? I guess that's why it's still on screen. All right, what do we got here? What the? <gasps> that doesn't look good. Look, she's like smashing her head against the rock. That looks awful. Is this supposed to be the moment Orla attacked the victim? Security footage. Videos showing the orca pool from the visitor's corridor. The footage starts at the aquarium's 10 a.m. opening time. This little bit of footage doesn't prove anything. I agree. I believe in Orla and Sasha. Let's just continue with our investigation. Good idea. Huh? There's a sticker on this camera that says, Return to the pub of danger. I guess somebody there manages the cameras? Let's check it out. Oh, that must be like the restaurant in the, in the aquarium, perhaps? Sorry about that, Prosecutor Blackwell called to remind me to go feed Taka. So where were we? Oh, that's right. You two got any more questions for me? Uh, no, we're good. Thank you for leaking all your info. Oh boy. You're gonna get in trouble for that later. 
I'm just saying. Does he have anything else to talk about? No, negative. All right, so let's move on. All right, here's a new place, the Pubbo Danger. I'm ready for it. I like to eat dangerously. Oh, wow, look, this looks kind of cool. Oh, neat. Okay, what we got? This looks like one of those hands-on exhibits. It has a real air of danger, don't you think? Oh, I thought it was like one of the, I thought it was like the aquarium restaurant, Never mind. Well, the banner does say it's the pub o danger. Let's see, according to the description, this room is a pub where pirates gather, explore, and interact with sea creatures. Actually feel the electricity of electric eels and feed real piranhas. Um, that sounds dangerous. It's not like the little pool where you stick your hand in to feel the starfish, right? A little bit, a little further than that, a little more advanced. Experience the terror of the seas with these dangerous experiments? All of those sound less like terror, more like torture. Uh, what the hell? Who's that? I'd like to thank, I'd like to thank you to keep it down there, blue boy. I'm conducting an experiment. Who the fuck is that? Whoa! Ma'am! Excuse me? Hmm, do not disturb me, unless you wish to be zapped with an electric eel. Uh... Is that what you're into? What's up, girl? Jesus! I did not expect you, whoever you are. Uh, my apologies, ma'am. Wow, she seems tense. She's making, like, finger guns at me. What do I do? Uh, excuse me, but who are you? Before you ask others, shouldn't you give your name first? Basic manners, young lady. Oh, yes, of course. My name is... Never mind. I will simply call you Yellow Girl. It's easier that way. Uh, who does she remind me of? Cause she reminds me of somebody. I'll, I'll, I'll think of it. I am Norma de Plume. Oh. I'm very interested in Shipshape Aquarium and I'm a frequent visitor here. Oh, you don't work here? Well then you can't boss my ass around. Get the fuck out of here, lady. But I don't want to be Yellow Girl. You think I want to be called Blue Boy? Yeah, that has a different connotation entirely. <laughs> oh shit, Rip. Uh, ma'am. Well, before I do anything, I need to see how you react to this. <laughs> Look at this badge. I have no interest in looking at meaningless trifles. As a matter of fact, I have no interest in looking at you. Blue boy. Oh, you're into the ladies. That's okay, I understand. What? So now a meaningless trifle? Listen. Everyone has taste, all right? Everyone has a thing that they like. Phoenix, you don't have to be everyone's thing. It's okay not to be everyone's thing. It's impossible. You say you're interested in the aquarium, but you don't look like a staff member. Let's see. I've got it. You're someone completely unrelated to the aquarium. That's some deductive reasoning there, champ. She just said it. I am a visitor, a patron, a customer, a guest, and what might you be? Uh... I'm not a what, I'm a lawyer. Hey, that's what I was gonna say. Uh, and I run a law office. Good job, Phoenix. You did it. <laughs> well, whatever you are, I don't have the slightest interest. What are you interested in? Oh, just who does she think she is, boss? A visitor, a patron, a customer, a guest, remember? All those things are the same thing. Why are you here, madam? You just hanging out? There's no one in here but you. I thought they closed the aquarium and weren't letting members of the public in. That as well. Oh, ho, 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 but I have special permission, you see. And, oh, and why exactly is that, if I may ask? Well, because of the incident. Oh, heavens, I've said too much. Uh-oh. Oh, the chains. No fucking way, we're already here. Oh shit, Cyclops are back, y'all. Dude! Psychedelic rock? Cyborg clock? What? Wait, did, did Phoenix just shout that out loud? That wouldn't have made any sense. No, 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 Cyclox. It's the power of the Magatama. You guys, the music! No way! It gives me the ability to see the secrets locked away in someone's heart. If I can remove the locks, I can uncover their secrets. I didn't know you had a magical item like that. It looks like this lady knows something about what happened. I'll just use my Magatama and undo her Cyclox. What, uh, what? Huh? I can't see the locks anymore. 
Huh? The color of the stone looks different from before. That's funny. Maybe it's just out of juice? Oh, it can do that? Yeah. A certain girl I know poured her spiritual power into her- <gasps> Wait, 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 wait! That doesn't mean anything bad, does it? Wait, Pearl did that, didn't she? Wait, no, it was either Pearl or, 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 or Maya. Which one was it? It was both of them, probably, to be honest. It was really Maya, though. Without that power, I can't undo the Cyclops. No way! Wait, what do we do? What, hello? Oh, you just had that sitting there. I will tell you that that, that color does look good on you, madam. Huh. Why do I have to keep quiet about it anyway? I've never been any good at keeping secrets. But I did promise after all, so I guess I'd better keep my mouth shut. Who did you promise? You just let that slip too. Who did you promise what to? <gasps> no comment. Now go away. Ma'am. Oh, just when I thought we could find out more about the case. Let's go try to find some other way. I'm sure we'll find something. Yeah, you're no help. Oh, wow, that, yeah, that does have a cyclock on it. Well, so what do we do now then? Um, I don't think we have to give her anything, right? Where else can we go? I don't even know. Uh... Yeah, I have no clue. No? Bye. <laughs> Let's just try it all and see what happens. Oh, what's happening over here? All right, we're back. So far, it seems to only have those three screens. Hey, Detective Fulbright's gone. It looks like the police investigation is over too. That's too bad. I was hoping to get a little more out of him. Yeah, I bet. Wait, what? He's cute. Wait, who's that? Hello? Cleaner, not off feeder. That's right. Yo, girl, why you hiding from me? I'm searching all around like this be a bad dream. Huh? Who the hell's talking street in here? Somebody rapping? What in the- Whoa! <laughs> Wait, what the hell is this? Yo, Rival, just come back to me. We can be together and sing Cree 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 Cree. Who the fuck is this? What's with this guy rapping and making strange bird sounds? Ah! Yo, yo who's there? You didn't hear me rapping, did you? Maybe? I liked it. Vanilla Ice, what the fuck you up to? Yeah, well, maybe. Oh! Yo, yo, just do me a favor, man, and pretend you didn't hear nothing. Yo, fine by us. And who might you be? I'm Marlon Rhymes. Oh, gee. I'm an animal keeper here. Yo, but the aquarium already closed today, bro. Oh, at least uh, I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, you don't know? Yo, I like your gold chain. <laughs> what the fuck is happening here? What is this? Pretty sure? You don't sound too certain. Oh, are you new here or something? Wow, like, yo, yeah, that's right. Pretty good guess, eh? Oh, whoops. No, he's not British. He's a rapper. New York. We gotta think New York. Hey, you're going to LaGuardia, right? Like that kind of shit, right? Who's this, you guys? I'm Phoenix Wright. And I'm Athena Sykes. We're lawyers and we're going to represent Orla by taking her case to court and proving she's innocent. Uh, look, you serious? You want to defend an orca in court? Oh, but if you're here for Orla, that must make you friends with Sasha. Yo, sorry if I came across rude. Sounds like he's friends with Sasha. Hey, sometimes when I'm by myself, I like to rap to pass the time. Especially when I'm like around the animals I love. Oh, he seems like a nice guy though. Ooh, I love animals too. Especially marine creatures like dolphins. I like marine creatures too, but just the ones you can eat. Phoenix! Oh well. Oh yeah? People who like animals are good people. That's what I always say. If there's anything I can do for you two, just say the word. He's a little gumshoeish. We'll get out of it. I'm sure it's fine. I just started working here though, so... Hey, I don't know how much help I can be. Oh, it's fine. Mr. Rhyme seems pretty friendly. Yeah, friendly and agreeable. Finally. Well, no, Sasha is too. So far, everyone's been pretty good. Well, you know, except that lady. Who the fuck does she remind me of? It's bugging me. Look at this badge. Hey, uh, I'm new here, so I don't know. Uh, I don't really think being new here has anything to do with it. I'm just saying, don't you think it's cool? See, look, I've got bling too, just like yours, sir. I could put it on a Gumby gold chain, just like yours, and, like, rock out, no? We could be pals. Would look good. So, what exactly do you do here as an animal keeper? Uh, mainly I clean the place, feed the animals, wiping all the glass. Takes forever. Man, you must go through Windex like a... 
nobody's business. <laughs> Jesus. I bet. There is a lot of it. I can imagine. This tunnel alone must take most of the day. I also prepped the food and that the animals eat, and that's the hardest part of all. You mean, it's like really difficult to get the hang of? Eh, nah. I'm a vegetarian, so cutting feet and mish up, uh, fish and meat up stuff creeps me out. Yo, same bro! Now there's something I never expected to hear from a pirate. Look, it happens. Do you know anything about the incident that took place this morning? Oh yeah, when I guess saw what happened, Dan, started screaming. I came running, but by the time I got here, bro, I couldn't see the orca or the captain. Oh shoot. Speaking of the captain, what was he like? Uh, like a strong captain who can turn a wild bunch of ruffians into some great pirates. He always treated us fairly and equally, and human and fish alike. Yo, he was the real deal, man. Hey, what are you crying for? Oh no, Athena! Oh, I'm not crying. It's just, I can feel your heart crying, that's all. She's so empathetic. Great, right, it probably gets to her, yeah? Girl, what you talking about? I ain't crying. I, I guess I won't mention that his eyes are puffier than a pair of puffer fish. Listen, it, it, he's got some heart. I like him. I bet Sasha and I bet Dr. Crab are even more upset by his... Oh, <laughs> Dr. Who? What? Vet? This aquarium has a resident vet? Yeah. Yo, yo, wait, hold up. I haven't seen Dr. Crab this morning. Staff is supposed to stay put. The night shift has been on duty since last night, but they won't let us go home. Sasha even had to get special permission to go out looking for a lawyer this morning. Huh. We haven't seen anybody who looks like a vet. That's weird. Rifle, tell me about you, bro. Were you rapping something about looking for a weapon earlier? A rifle or something? <laughs> yeah, no. No, bro, not a weapon. Rifle's the name of one of our penguins. A penguin? Why would you name a penguin something like that? Why would... Whoa. Yo, ahoy! Yo, 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 yo! I can't rap because I'm a red-headed white girl, but prep for the battle! Prep for the war! Blah, 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 y'all think you can escape with your pride? Nuh uh! You're just gonna be straight up denied! Yo, yo! Yo, ho, ho! Yo, bitches, what? Subscribe to my channel. Like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, <laughs> anyway, yo, that's what she's like, so we named her Rifle. Uh, okay, but did you have to wrap it? Yes, Phoenix. Yes, of course he did. What, are you born today? Yo, that's just how I roll. Okay. Does Rifle wear a backpack by any chance? Yeah, that's the one. You've seen her, huh? She always running away. Yo, she's such a good runner, we decided to put her to work delivering flyers. Do you really want a dangerous penguin like that running loose? Yo, Rifle's not dangerous. She only attacks people she doesn't like. Oh. When we ran into her earlier, she didn't attack us. She straight up ignored us, actually. Oh, hey, yo, I got an idea. If you run into Rifle again, would you mind feeding her for me? She didn't come back to the pool at feeding time like usual, so I've been looking for her. She loves the smell of fish, so she might come over to you if you have some. Ooh, I would love to feed a penguin. That'd be okay, right, boss? I, I don't mind, as long as you carry the fish. We got fish! A large quantity of fish for feeding Rifle the penguin. Not surprisingly, it has a horrible fish. You smell great, Athena, you carry that. Oh, P.U. It smells so fishy. Really? What a shocker. Don't make a gross screenshot out of that, for the love of God, guys. I'm too old for this shit. Oh, yo, besides Rifle, I've been looking for Small Fry, too. Small Fry? Is that another penguin? Nah. She's a friend I made. A high school girl. Um... Um, hang on, uh, um, I'm sure that's fine, J uh, yes, okay, I'm saying nothing, she went off looking for a rifle somewhere and she ain't been back, oh, is she your girlfriend, <coughs> I hope not. It, 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 this was made in Japan, though, so who the fuck knows? What? Nai? No way! Sasha's the one I- Oh, he's got hots for Sasha, okay. Oh, you like Miss Bugler, do you? Yo, well, uh, I really respect her, you know? We, we got different tastes in music, but I admire the way she lives her life. 
It's not like I like her. It's more complicated than that. I'm pretty sure that all adds up to like. Me too. Oh, she tries to put on a brave face. But I think the captain's death is hitting her hardest of all. Yo, after all, it was her human show partner that got killed by the orca. So, you think that Orla really did it? Well, I can understand how Sasha feels. But she's the only one of us who doesn't think the orca did it. Oh no. Oh, I see. I guess it isn't easy to believe in someone who can't even speak up for herself. Yeah, really. Yo, anyway, let me know if you see Rifle a Small Fry, alright. Small Fry said she was gonna go check the orca pool. Maybe we'll head back there then. Oh shit. Alright. Yo, I'm liking these people so far. Oh, I really like him. He's sweet. Okay, here we go. Is anyone here? Huh? There's something on the left side of the pool that wasn't here before. Is there? What's going on? Oh, what's that? It looks like an electronic sword? <laughs> like, hey, you're back! <laughs> Hi, Sasha. What's with this strange sword? Oh, like, that's a walkie-talkie. Like, it's probably rifles. Rifle can use a walkie-talkie? Uh, yeah, she's always running away, so, like, we attach a walkie-talkie to her. If we can hear the sounds around her, we can usually guess where she is. But not if she drops the walkie-talkie on the floor. Every member of the crew has one, too, so, like, we can communicate back and forth. We can even use them to broadcast to specific parts of the aquarium. Cool, huh? Walkie-talkie. Issued to all aquarium staff for communication, it can apparently also be used to broadcast inside the aquarium. Okay. Yo, have you seen a kid in here? Well, if Rifle's walkie-talkie is here, then Rifle might still be here too. Rifle, come on out wherever you are. Are you here, friend? Oh no! Ah! Oh, she wants the fish. It's not for you, though. No, it's not the fish. It's not for you. Oh, are you like, are you okay? You have to be careful around pools. You might slip. Oh shit, Athena, you're all right. Oh, I'm more afraid of my heart jumping right out. Oh, she didn't mean to. There's the penguin. Hey, who's that riding on Orla? Is that Rifle? Hey, you're right. Come here, Rifle. Oh, she didn't want to. Oh no, she left. Oh, she ignored me again. Why doesn't that penguin like me? Ugh. Now you scared Rifle away with all that yelling. Well, I'm not giving up. I'll make that penguin like me if it's the last thing I do. That's a spirit. Hey, get back here, you little pipsqueak! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not gonna. Oh no, that's not gonna do it. Sorry, Rifle, but at least you seem all right. Huh? Small fry Mr. Rhymes was talking about? No freaking way! <laughs> the theme song! What? Congratulations on your return to lawyering. I've been thinking about stopping by your office for a visit to congratulate you. Oh my god! I'm so happy! This is Pearl Fay. I call her Pearls. She may dress a little funny. But that's because she's a spirit medium, a real prodigy with great power at that. I've known her since she was little, and she sometimes comes to the office to visit. Oh, hooray! She's just a little older than Trucy, so she's been like a big sister to her. I can't give her the little girl voice anymore, though. I guess everyone here knows Mr. Nick, then. He's such a nice guy, don't you think? Is she trying to be my big sister, too, now? Maybe. That's what happens when you grow up. Pearly! I can't believe this! I'm so happy to see you in a girl. I know you've seen this before, but I gotta do it. Look at this badge! Oh, I'm so happy you get to be a lawyer again, Mr. Nick! <laughs> she still calls him Mr. Nick, that's so cute! I let our friends know I was back too. I wish we could all get together. It's been quite a while. <gasps> the face! <laughs> She's making her cute little face! <gasps> I have never been so enamored. 
Maybe we should throw your surprise party to celebrate your comeback. That would be really nice. But if you tell me about it, it won't be a surprise, you know. Oh! Oh, but, but we could spring it on you after you had forgotten um, and still surprise you. Oh my god. I can't believe this. Oh my gosh, I can't believe. Pearl, how have you been? What are you doing here, Pearls? My summer camp is here on a field trip. I've never been to such a big aquarium before, so I was really looking forward to it. But then that incident happened, and the police just finished questioning me. Oh, I see. Um, Mr. Nick, who's that lady next to you? I'm Athena Sykes. I'm a new lawyer at the Right Anything Agency. Oh, how do you do? My name's Pearl Fay. Pearl's so good, and she's so polite. My cousin and my friends call me Pearly. Pearly it is then. Nice to meet you. Uh, so, how did the two of you meet? Well, you know how I used to travel to Europe to study their legal system, Pearl? I met Athena on one of those trips. Oh no, is, oh, is Pearl gonna, is Pearl gonna start talking about you know what? Didn't she do that before? So, tell me more about the two of you met, how the two of you met in Europe. Hey, I thought I was supposed to be asking the questions here. No, no, no such thing. A long time ago, Mr. Wright helped me out of a difficult jam. That's when I started thinking about becoming a lawyer like him. <gasps> so you're like her mentor, huh, Mr. Nick? Yeah, something like that, I guess. Mr. Wright's the whole reason I am who I am today. He was the one who told me my knowledge of psychology could help people in court. Gee, Mr. Nick, it looks like you've become a real adult since the last time I saw you. God, I could say the same about you. I've always been an adult the entire time I've known you. Well, hmm. In theory. Hello, Rifle. <gasps> Would you look at that? Rifle loves you. She sure does seem to be attracted to pearls. <laughs> I'm so glad she likes me. Penguins are so adorable, aren't they? I even bought myself a little penguin calendar here at the aquarium gift shop. Oh my god, it's so cute. I have it hanging from my bag already. Oh, how cute. A calendar in the shape of a penguin. Like that calendar is a real hit with all our female visitors. I even have one myself. But the rest of the staff thinks it's too cutesy. I guess it doesn't really fit the whole rough and tumble pirate image very well. Yeah, but you gotta, you gotta pander to all of your audience, not just one thing. But why does this calendar smell kind of like fish? Oh, what do you mean, Mr. Nick? Please don't be rude. Uh-oh, I got Pearl's mad. Calendar added. A penguin-shaped calendar that Pearl's bought at the aquarium. It smells fishy for some reason. Oh, no. Oh, Jesus. We're not looting Pearl either, guys. I'm not allowing it. So you were looking for Rifle too? That's right. I was trying to help Mr. Marlin, the animal keeper. Come here, Rifle. Come on. No, Rifle does not like you. She went towards Orla instead. Oh, why can't I get Rifle to like me? Me with any animal, guys. No, I'm just kidding. Every animal likes me. What? I got the Disney princess thing going on, I think. Maybe you should quit chasing after her with that scowl of yours. Mr. Nick, how could you speak to a lady so rudely? Uh-oh. That pearl's mad again. <laughs> Why don't you try to get Rifle to take some food from you? Oh, great idea. And I have just the thing to offer her, too. Alright, uh... Are we gonna present the fish? The fish. Yes. It's right here. Present it. Rifle, I have a present for you. It's chock filled with love. Here you go. No, not for you, honey. Oh, Orla ate it. Oh. Hey, Orla ate my love filled fish. Oh my fucking god. You gotta be shitting me, guys. Don't. At least it looks like she enjoyed it, though. That was Rifle's food. Oh no, now what's he gonna eat? I think Orla and I just had a bonding moment. Hooray! I think. Friendship blossoming with the exchange of some food. <gasps> Isn't it moving, Mr. Nick? I think moving might be going a bit far. Listen, everyone here is romantic except you, Phoenix. Anyway, how did you get Rifle to come to you so easily, Pearls? I heard Rifle was attracted to the smell of fish. Mr. Nick! 
Are you saying I smell like fish? Guys, I can't, I can't do this. Th uh, guys, this is insane. Uh, I guess I need to change my clothes. That's odd. I wonder why Pearl smells like she's holding a bucket of fish. She didn't fall in somewhere, did she? Like, Orla doesn't usually want to eat at this time of day. And we've even been giving her more food than normal at her regular mealtimes lately. What could that mean? I don't even know. Orla's eat. Oh my god, we have to end this episode! It's long as hell! Is there something wrong with Orla's feeding habits lately? Like, yeah, something's weird. And the new guy, Marlin, feeds all the other animals besides Orla. But the captain and I, her trainer, are responsible for feeding her. It was the captain's turn to feed Orla this morning. But Orla keeps coming to me and signaling she's still hungry. She wants my fish, chock filled with love. I cannot do this. How long are you gonna keep saying that? She's sure excited to make a new friend. Like, I don't think the captain would have forgotten to feed her. Well, clearly he did. Maybe you should give her some food. Rifle and that big creature there certainly seem to love each other. This is Orla the Orca. Like, Rifle and Orla are best friends. They belong together like a clownfish and a sea anemone. Care to phrase that in a way as non-biology majors can understand? What? Phoenix, come on. Everybody knows that. Oh, so this orca is a suspect? Uh, I read in a book once that orcas eat penguins. Like, don't you worry about that. Orla here is really gentle, and she never eats anything but fish. Oh, what's happening? You get the smack down. Oh, she mad because you ate her fish, though. Oh, no, they having a, they having a tussle. Like, she's an old sweetheart. As a matter of fact, she even tolerates rifle picking on her. It's true. She does seem very gentle. She hardly seems like a killer whale. As lawyers, we have to do everything we can to save this beautiful, gentle creature. I agree. Wow, you're gonna defend her in court? She's quite the defendant, isn't she? She's the biggest defendant we've ever had. Literally. We're gonna do it, though. Oh, Pearls, I have a big favor to ask. What is it, Mr. Nick? It's about my Magatama. Its spiritual power seems to have vanished. Oh! That Magatama brings back memories. I remember pouring my spiritual power into it, so I was right, it was Pearls that did it. That was so many years ago. Well, I guess that's why it's almost out now. Oh, Pearl, you're gonna just do it like that? Jeez, you've really improved. There you go, Mr. Nick. It should be fine now. Thank you, Pearls. Now I can break Cyclox again. <laughs> I'm glad I could help. Well, I think I'll go find Mr. Marlin now. I have to bring Rifle to him. Okay. Pearls, I can't believe I got to see you. This is so wonderful. Pearly sure seems right at home at this aquarium. She right. But didn't she say that this was her first time here? Like, apparently, like, that girl was in the staff corridor earlier this morning. Really? That's, like, why the detective was questioning her. What was Pearls doing in the staff corridor? I don't know. I thought she was Marlin's friend or something. The... <laughs> The staff corridor, huh? Something about that doesn't sit well with me. Me neither. Oh no. Orca pool diagram. A cross-section view of the first and second floor sections of the Orca pool. Pearls apparently entered the staff corridor. Okay. Well, if it bothers you, why don't you just ask her about it? Yeah, good idea. Let's go catch up with her. We're gonna have to do that in the next one. This is far too long for my taste. So in the next one, we will go ahead and ask Pearls all about it. I cannot believe we got to see her again. She's gonna be part of this case. I'm so freaking happy about that. That is so awesome. Guys, I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you soon in the next episode. Toodaloo.